Hi, I'm Johnny, and this is my brother Matt, and we're from Brothers Make. And today we're going to be looking at the Triton T6 pocket hole jig with speed drive. Right, so let's take a look what's in the box. So, straight up, first thing you're going to see is you've got your manual, you've got the accessories kit, you've got a box here which is going to contain all of the bits and pieces for the stops and the dust extraction hose and stuff like that. You've got your two support arms, and you've got the main T6 body itself. Okay, so in this little box you've got a number of different things which are going to help you set up your jig. First thing is going to be this tall work stop. For the other side you've got a short work stop. You've got two support feet here which is going to help you extend the support arm bars on either side. You've got a dust extraction adapter. And the last thing is you've got an imperial measurement guide in case you want to change the metric one on the T6 body. Right, so looking into the accessories kit, you have got your pocket hole drill bit with the speed drive feature. You've got your square drill bit, your collar, your hex key. You've got some wooden plugs and your pocket hole screws. Okay, so the T6 is primarily suited to any project where you're doing a large number of pocket holes or you're doing repeated holes one after the other. The speed drive technology allows you to leave the drill and the drill bit in place so you save a lot of time without having to remove the drill and drill bit over and over again. The first thing we want to adjust is this depth adjuster here. Now this one has scales on both the left and the right in metric and imperial and we slide that down until it gets to the right height. In our case that's 12 to 18 millimeters. The next thing you want to do is take your pocket hole drill bit and you want to adjust that so that the collar is in the right place. On the back of the jig here you've got five different scales which tell you different adjustment points. In our case we're going to use the 12 to 18 mil hole, adjust the collar down and tighten that in place. Now I know that that is perfectly set for the material that we've got here. The next thing you want to do is you want to put your material into the clamp itself and you want to tighten the back clamp adjuster just until it's snug and then you can clamp that down in place. Okay, so now you're ready to start drilling some pocket holes. So you want to do is chuck up your drill bit, insert it into the jig until you hear the click and you're good to go. So as you can see, the drill bit is now locked in place. So all you have to do is unclamp your work, slide it along, reclamp it, and that's what makes the T6 so much quicker when you're doing repeat pocket holes. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is just to get everything screwed together. So we're going to clamp it all up first, get those screws put in, and we'll give it a test. It's always important you choose the right size pocket hole screw for your project. In the manual, there's a helpful little guide that tells you what size screw to use for different types of material. Okay, so there we go. We used the T6 to create a series of pocket holes and these two scraps of plywood. Now this can be applied to any type of large scale furniture project, cabinetry, bookshelves, anything you're making. But also it can be used for small scale stuff. Once this guy's set up in your workshop, it's basically useful for any type of project you're doing. So there you go, no mess, no fuss, seven pocket holes drilled in a few seconds. Let's go see how strong it really is. The support arms themselves have these handy one inch increments, which can be used as a quick reference. And also they are modular. So with these extensions, and an extra arm, you can support those larger bits of wood. So the dust extraction adapter that comes with the T6 can be fitted to either side of the machine and this just allows you to connect your hose for nice clean pocket hole drilling. So as I mentioned earlier, you've also got these handy little work stops and this makes it super easy if you're drilling multiple pieces of wood in the same place. The locking plate in the centre of the jig can be used to completely bypass the speed drive system if you wanted to use this just as a regular pocket hole jig. All you have to do is slide that little catch across. If you did pick up the T6 Master Set, then in that you'll get an additional screw pack which gives you loads of options to choose from. 